good, everyone? Venomous Stare here, back with game four of a best of five between two incredible macro Terrans. TY in the top right, playing on blue as far as color goes. And his opponent, of course, red versus blue, classic stuff, is Bion. And Bion is currently leading this series. It's a best of five, which obviously means the first person to three wins will be considered the victor. So Bion is up 2-1. to one. All he has to do is win one more game. If you miss the games, if you're saying, Oh, Game 4, this is the first I'm seeing of this series from you, Venomous Terror. Pause this and go watch the other VODs. This truly is, and by other VODs I mean Games 1, 2, and 3 of this series that I casted. Which can be found on my channel. And there is a playlist of StarCraft 2 professional games. And I imagine I will be making a BlizzCon 2016 playlist since I consider, I'm consider i considering casting so many of these games. So what has happened in the series, you might be asking? Well, basically these players, Bion and TY, are as good as Terran gets, and they've been having an epic knockdown drag out that has featured two incredible macro games to start off the series. And then after they traded macro games, Bion proxied three barracks and went for an aggressive reaper play and Bion is often considered to have the best micro in the world and quite honestly TY I don't know I wouldn't call it a build order loss per se but it is worth noting TY did try to reaper expand and Bion had three barracks pretty much built the equivalent of right here outside his base so TY was basically at an incredible disadvantage going against a player doing what he does best, which is microing Reapers in an aggressive situation. Now, if you're not familiar with Bion, Bion was on a team called Prime early on in his career, a team with players like Marine King and Maka, very aggressive Terrans, Terrans who did a lot of aggressive barracks play, early game cheeses. This was when Terran cheese was not necessarily more acceptable but more common the map pool was in a different state there were much smaller maps delta quadrant lost temple steps of war i could go on and on but the metagame did evolve as we see beyond taking an expansion and it looks like ty might be going for a banshee play here as we see a tech lab getting ready as hellions are being produced but Bjorn was one of these guys who was very good with aggressive micro-based play. But as his career went on, and it will be Banshee, so TY knows that micro is very hard versus Bjorn. Knows that macro is very hard versus Bjorn. So he's going to go for a bit of a trick. Not to Adam, say that cloaked complete. Banshees are that abnormal in Terran versus Terran. As far as cloaked Banshees go, you definitely see them in this matchup the most out of all the Terran matchups. But it is a little bit of a change of pace from what we've seen, which is pretty much straight up marine tank macro. And TY is going to push across the map right at the wrong moment. Devastating bad luck here for TY. And Bjorn is going to have the unit advantage. TY tries to defend at the top of the ramp. The damage that he took on the Hellion was instrumental. And suddenly he's just going to say, I'm too committed. I have to try to go in with the Reapers and see what I can get done. But Bjorn is going to attack the main of TY. The Reaper comes out, it's just a matter of how much damage that Bion can do, and if we pull up units lost, Bion is at a huge advantage, and if we go to the main, he was able to clean up the Reapers of TY, because TY, of course, was frantically microing at home, and suddenly, what do we see? The Banshee tech has been exposed for TY. First and foremost, that Cloak Banshee is not going to catch TY or excuse me, not going to catch Bion off guard. And it was so devastating that if we look at production, TY just said screw it and canceled Cloak. He made one Banshee. He's down a base, which is just astronomical, because now he's down not only in workers, but in the number of bases, which means that Tian, Tian, Bion, he's basically like Tian. He's as much, as a, he's as much of a badass as Tian Shin Han is Bion. But, TY is behind in every conceivable way. He went for Cloak Banshee, which failed so utterly he didn't even need to complete Cloak. Now Bion himself is going for Cloak. 
He's made a turret. He's making cyclones. He's double pumping marines. He's basically playing safe in every conceivable way and has a huge micro, and by macro, excuse me, Bjorn has a huge macro lead. Macro in terms of income, production, tech, that's macro. <clears throat> Judging by this series though, as we see this cloak banshee come out for Bjorn, notice he doesn't defend with this. This is going to be game ending because TY doesn't have an eBay, he's not keeping units at home. Basically, TY is going for an all in attack here. He's pulled a few SCVs, and here we go. Bion's going to try to defend. He's just going to pull the SCVs into his main and use this high ground. Notice this cloak banshee is already cloaked. It's going to go in and kill SCVs. TY has to do game any damage, but he's forced to attack into an unfavorable position. Bion can just kite backwards. Because here it is, here is the clock, tick, tick, tick. TY has to win here. He knows he can't with the tank in the turret. And Bjorn takes the series 3-1. to one. And my goodness, that game Bjorn really put in a clinic because everything went wrong for TY. Right at a moment's notice, he did that little attack. And that, little, that moment where Bjorn took the Hellion down to half HP was the beginning of the end. And as soon as that happened... One bad thing happened for TY after another as though he was Rob Stark. And if you like StarCraft 2, and if you like Bion, subscribe for more. That was the conclusion of this series. Bion takes it 3 to 1. But I will have more excellent, excellent Bion replays for you on this channel, Venomous Terror. It's free. Subscribe for more.